say good morning to Bristol. Finally made it here. It took me two hours of walking the streets of bloody Bristol to find somewhere to kip. All the guest houses and B&Bs either didn't answer or they didn't, didn't answer the door, didn't answer the phone, or if they answered they wouldn't do laundry. One had a vacancy sign in the window when I phoned up there were no vacancies. I was getting tired, my feet were hurting, I was annoyed. Uh, finally I came to this youth hostel here. here. Can't speak highly enough of them. I've been here before actually with my son about eight years ago. Uh, and I, I booked myself a room last night and recovered. And I, the room's in a mess at the moment. Very basic, very small, but this is my tent drying out. It's all I needed and look, a bed. And the joy of a hot shower last night. I've even had a shave. I'm going to uh, tidy this mess up now and get underway. First port of call actually is the post office and buy some postcards and post some of my used maps up. And then it's off to Chew Magna and however far I get. My itinerary is up the spout now, I'm so far behind, but uh, I'm just going to walk as far as I can each day. That'll be it really. Uh, I'm ready for the off. I've posted some maps back home so my pack's a bit lighter. And I'm um, just having a final sweep of Bristol, the harbour, before I go. As I say, I'm going to be heading out towards Dundry Down and over into Chew Magna to see how far I get today. I'm first have to figure out how to cross this thing. Not anytime soon, I don't think. Enjoyable stay in the youth hostel and I do feel refreshed. I've also bandaged my feet up like a mummy and taped them. So it's so they hold today. I think that might be the SS Great Britain, but I'm not sure. Haha. <laughs> this is a bit entertaining. I've just come down there. I knew on the map I had to cross uh, a stretch of water, a brook, and here it is. But this is <laughs> this is how I've got across. There's no actual walking mechanism, no boards. I'm going to have to go across on the railings, I presume. And then up through the track on the other side. Well, that's bloody fun, isn't it? I don't know. Anyway, I'm in the near Headley Park part of uh, Bristol, just south-east of Bedminster Down. And I shall be passing through Hartcliffe and over the downs myself shortly, hopefully. Okay, I'm some of the way up Dundry Hill. I don't know how far. That's Bristol now, leaving it behind me finally. And in a lot of ways, I'm not sorry. A few wrong turns, two hours to find lodgings. Uh, I had to dash past Suspension Bridge, which uh, I don't know if you can pick it up, but it is there. I was hoping to see the Seven Bridge right in the distance behind it, but uh, oh, rain clouds maybe, it's been a bit rainy today. Ah, oh, actually I can just about see it. Right in the distance over there, the Seven Bridge. And those hills in the, right in the very back skyline are probably the Forest of Dean area I came over the first couple of days. So, starting to see the distance I've covered now. I'll come up that way, I've got to go through I threw a path up there, and uh, see how far past two Magna I can get. I have to stop for the lunch soon. You can see the Seven Bridge now that I crossed. Uh, it was that two days ago. I'll try and zoom in on it a little bit. That's over there, you've got the suspension bridge, and behind it to the right, the Seven Bridge. And behind it, the hills that I walked over as part of the Forest of Dean. Certainly covered some distance. I keep saying. <coughs> On and off rain, for about the last hour, it was sunny up until then. Just put some sun cream on, and then clouds over it, and it started to rain. It's about right, isn't it? Uh, I go through there. I stepped out and there's a 
small open valley in front of me which is rather fetching lovely what that's true value lake over there that i've got to go around and past i'm on something called the samaritan's way at the moment i've been joining recognized walks here and there y valley gloucestershire centenary centenary no that's not right that's what mark's doing uh samaritan's way here and hopefully there's some Samaritan in Chew Magna over there that can fill my water camel for me. I'm not sure where I've got to go next. Maybe that gate down there, maybe through that wood. I'm going to find out. That's the sky. It's been raining on and off now for most of the day, I suppose, really. Ooh, right in the distance there, on the hill. A large television mast. I don't know if I'm picking it up on here. I, uh, I walk right by that. It's on top of a hill, of course. I'm just coming into Chew Magna. No. I don't know if this whole place here is abandoned or just parts of it. But look at this. Oh, it's not a house as I thought it was. It's just a storage place. Oh, that explains it then. I thought it was a cottage or something. And there. Uh, all looks functioning. Anyway. I, I'm going to hit a lane now. And that should take me into Chew Magna. Should be a lane here. Oh, yes. There we go. Up there, I presume. Here I am, left Jew Magna. A bit of a struggle over wet fields full of uh, windy weirs. But I'm here now, Jew Magna Lake. Man made, I think it was made in the 1950s. I mean, dammed at that end. Average depth is only about 14 feet. And deepest end is, is this end here. I should be walking down the east side of it. large isn't it for something that's man made. A lot of farmland flooded. Apparently when it gets low enough you can see old bridges and hedgerows and things. Massive. There I am uh, camped up in a caravan park as it happens on the outskirts of Bishop Sutton. I have travelled a measly 13 miles today south of Bristol, which is ridiculous. Um, it just goes to show, on the national trails, like Offa's Dyke, uh, West Highland Way, we've regularly done 18 to 20 miles, no bother in the amount of time it's taken me to do 12, and it's because I've scripted my own route using public highways which are often almost invisible and overgrown. I spend a lot of time hacking through brambles or backtracking. And, and that's just eaten away at the uh, miles I can cover. So I'm not going to finish in the time allotted. I'm either going to have to catch a bus and miss a bit out, or, well, that's the only thing I can do if I want to complete it. Um, day four, day five, day six, whatever, just get a bus south uh, and get to the beach that way. Shame, if I had more days off from work, but I could do it. But yeah, in the future, I think between 13 and 15 miles on my own routes is a good a good day's journey. Anyway, I'm in a caravan park which is great because it means a hot shower. There's a pub up the road, there's even a curry house up the road, and the lady of the house said she's gonna do my stinking laundry there for nothing. Not bad, eh? Look at this! Look! Oh I'm so excited. A toilet, shower, sink Oh, I've rarely ever been so excited by a tiny bathroom. It's more there than at the uh, youth hostel yesterday. Cheaper too. Not that I'm knocking the youth hostel, it was good. But oh, I'm going to enjoy this. 